Hello everyone, I'm the old guy, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Fallout. This is episode 23, and we're in the West Tech Research Facility, otherwise known as The Glow. We are on level 4 here. We searched this whole place out last episode, and we also talked to the computer here, Zax. Now, Zax gave us some very interesting information. There is a military base out there known as the Mariposa Military Base, and it seems to be the source of our problems with the super mutants, not the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm starting to question if my attitude towards the Brotherhood of Steel may be mistaken. So we have a bunch of questions that we need to answer, and I'm not exactly sure what to do. Minus go back to see the Brotherhoods of Steel once we clear out this area. So for now, we're going to continue exploring this West Tech research facility and see what else we can find. And then we'll head to the Brotherhood of Steel and start asking them questions about this. Now, I've noticed something uh, interesting over here as well. I think we need the red cart to get down in there. Or is it the blue card? Let's put the blue card in here. I'm not exactly sure. Does nothing. Let's do the red card. Authorization granted. Now disarming electrical field. Perfect. Let's open this up. Let's take a look here. It goes three, four, six, five is missing. We're on the fourth floor right now, and we cannot go to the fifth for some reason. So let's take it down to the sixth floor. Now, here we go. We have not been here before. We have more sentry robots. And we have another elevator there. What do we have here? See the remains of the wall of a vault dweller. A dead vault dweller. Remains of a townsman. Of a peasant. There's a lot of bodies down here. And we have a working computer here too. There seems to be some sort of energy area here electricity or something maybe we could turn the power on in this place we have to be careful there is these sentry droids here and i believe the reason that they're not active is because they're not powered if we turn the power on this these guys may come alive remains of a guard a person in power armor Interesting. So let's explore here a little bit. Table for no reason. It's badly damaged. Everything here is badly damaged. Let's get rid of these sentry droids. Sentry robots, I should say. Oh no, don't be shooting uh, dog meat. At least we think, know that he's been healed, I believe. Okay, they're all done now. That's good experience, 475 experience points for that. Oh, let's go check out this guy in power armor here. I'm hoping to get my own pair of that. That'd be really nice if we did. Nothing here. Dead guard. 
We got a cheap gun. We don't need that. The bed is in pretty bad condition. This looks like barracks over here. Let's explore this one. There's a bed back there. Right on. We can always use that. What is this here? Small energy cells. Might as well take that as well. There's a bed back there too. This is definitely barracks it looks like to me. Badly damaged table. Bed is in very poor condition. Now what does this townsperson have on him? Oh, he's got one of these fancy laser pistol guns. Let's take it, because they're pretty pricey. Oh, we got some more right away and a knife. We'll leave the knife. That reminds me, am I... Nope, I'm not irradiated yet, and my resistance is still 100. I'm hopefully the pills last long enough for us to explore this entire area. Let's check out this room next. Let's take a look here. Let's take all of these bullets. Might as well. looking look like nothing's there let's open this up now let's take a look at this computer here once we explore a little bit around here I want to see if there's anything over here Another computer seems to be broken. Yeah, there's a whole computer bank here. Same as that side. These are all broken, it looks like. Not functioning. Broken. Broken. Let's go check out the working computer here. These generators seem to be offline. You wonder if you can start them back up. Let's see here. Let's go primary power here, power management, primary power, reinitialize primary power, failed. Disable emergency power. Now, can we repair this maybe? You start up the generator and all the systems seem to be coming back online. You gain 1,000 experience points. Let's go back here. Primary power, power management, primary power, reinitialize power. And we're back on. The lights are back on. Look at that. Now these guys are gone. And we explored everything here. What a difference the lights make. Beautiful. This is real cool stuff. I really enjoy this. Now, let's go see if 
we can use this elevator. Let's try the purple card here. All right, I wonder. Nope. Let's do the purple one here. Let's get in here and see what happens. Electrical fields taken down. And let's go to the fifth floor. Now let's see what happens here. Oh, target acquired, he says. And of course, once again, I do not load the proper stuff here. Let's get this going as well. to do but it's gonna happen that way are there are more there are more oh no this may be a bad idea One's gone. Shoots me for nine. Oh, there's two more. Missed. Oh my gosh. Hit me for 10. Look out. Term terminate, terminate. Is that like a Dalek there? Oh, he's running. Oh, don't go after with Dogby. What are you doing? Another one's dead. He had missed. There's another one gone. Dog meat, no damage. Beautiful. Two gone. That's a great move right there we've got two more let's move as far forward as we can don't attack dog meat come after me perfect This is a big fight. 
another one gone. I don't want to hit dog meat, but I'm going to take this chance. Beautiful. Just ignore dog meat, whatever you do. Don't hit me very... Don't hit me... In. Out of bullets. Beautiful. Let's move as far forward as we can. You were in 1600 experience points. Very nice. Let's uh, take a look at these. Let's take that. More stuff there. All right. Let's check out this. Those grenades came in handy. Now, what's this? Can we turn the power off here again? Disable primary power. We're gonna leave the power on. I think we've taken care of all the robots around here. And we've got some cabinets there. We got some lockers here, I mean. got some lockers back here as well and a whole bunch of lockers here we may have hit the jackpot here let's take a look uh, I'm gonna heal up though uh, one more there we go take a look at my character sheet am i i am radiated as well let's take a rat away i'm no longer irradiated i'm still addicted to rat away though i wonder if that'll go away we will see Very exciting stuff. Let's go and check this out. Oh, what's this? This seems strange. It looks like it can be used in your Pip Boy. Take a look at that. Clipboy displays downloading data from disk. You gain 1000 experience points. What does that include here? Okay, that is the all the people I wonder we've read that already as well alpha experiment tape prototype pan immunity variant project in the hopes of countering the current bacteriological and viral agents employed by the Chinese government, we have manufactured a virus fragment consisting of a ribbon nucleic acid RNA encased in a protein lipid sheath. This viron contains a specially arranged sequence of irradiated amino acids, RAA, that are capable of attaching non-specific binding sites on deoxynucleic acid, DNA, 
and force a non-replicating mitosis to occur. The resulting host cell is left with a quadruple helix DNA structure. Early tests are promising. The virin easily penetrates the cell membrane and detaches directly to the host DNA in the nucleus. Mitosis of the structure begins almost immediately. Cryptokinesis is prevented by controlling the disposition of the kinetochore fibers during anaphase. The entire mitopic cycle lasts approximately two hours, although phenotypical expression of the new structure may take days or weeks to become apparent. In addition to effective immunity to bacterial and viral agents, the quad helix structure is almost entirely immune to errors introduced in the base pairing during replication due to multiplicity of the base sequence. Radiation exposed tissues showed no mutation in the base sequence and protein synthesis mechanisms in the ribosomes were unimpaired. Over 80% of the sample tissues contained quad helix DNA. Most affected was muscle and bone tissue, as well as secretory cells. These cells seem most receptive to viron. Sensory cells are the least effective. Surprisingly, even normally non-replicating nerve cells and non-somatic cells were induced to begin mitosis. Further experiments will be necessary to determine the result of these cells. That was a bunch of mumbo jumbo Star Trek talk there. I'm not exactly sure, although I think that they're mutating normal humans into super mutants is what it sounds like to me. I think that's what's going on here and at that Mariposa military base. And it sounds like we need to stop this. Let's continue searching here. Right on, we got more of this. We're going to need all we can get, it sounds like. Very cool. Very modern looking computer. My computer for recording is exactly like this. Takes up three quarters of my house. Keep exploring here. Oh, very cool. I absolutely love this. What do we have here? Microfusion cell. Let's take that. Oh, we're at our max capacity. What's this? A plasma rifle. Interesting. Let's trade a whole bunch of this stuff to Ian since it, I don't think he has a weight limit on him. It doesn't look like he does, does it? Let's give him. Uh, I don't know what these are. Maybe we're going to eat them, find out. Let's give him these. Let's give him this. Let's give him this. we go we got 10,000 bucks there let's offer that to Ian it doesn't look like he has any sort of weight restriction on him we can just use him as a hauling mechanism you know you are now our pack rat look at that thing we have serious weapons. Too bad we don't have the skill to really use it. What do we got? We got some more books here. And we've got some more armor, which we already have. Let's read this book. You learn nothing new. Let's give the combat armor to Ian. Maybe he'll actually put some of this on. I doubt it though. Sixty-five hundred bucks. Look at that. Let's give it to him. 
Never mind, Mr. Ian. Let's go through these. We have another tape. This seems strange. It looks like it can be used in your pit boy. Let's take a look at that. You gained 100 experience. Let's take a look at the pit boy. What is this, the alpha experiment? This is what we read already. It's the beta test experiment. Delta experiment tape. The military has deemed it necessary for us to research further in depth the effects of the wave technology upon living organisms. We have taken light and sound as the basis of our studies. By manipulating the amplitude of the light waves and magnifying the frequency, we have been able to get a laser which will cut through a few feet of steel. Unfortunately, the power to do such a task is not yet fully developed. We have other scientists looking into this. Interesting. Everything's coming together here, getting explained. Let's go here. We have a serious bullet cache here. Let's take all of this. I don't think money is an uh, is a problem to us anymore here. Let's go here. What do we have here? A minigun. Holy smokes. We are at our max capacity. Let's talk to Ian again. Keep that. There we go. Let's offer that to Ian. It's a good trade. Yeah, I'm sure it is, Ian. You're rich now, beyond belief. Let's take that. got another radio and we've got two rifles here take both of those we've got more of these we're at our maximum carrying capacity let's barter with Ian again Give him this as well. Let's offer that to Ian. Ah, uh, never mind, Ian. You're taking all of our stuff here. Take all of that. Take these energy cells. We're score. What is all this? Stealth boy, motion sensor, and a Geiger counter. Let's take all of this. Oh, what is this? A laser pistol. Is that an energy weapon? continue on here I think we've got everything out of this room we have to go over here there's one over here as well is there anything in here 
Oh, these are the suspension tanks. This is probably where they were testing the fluid on human bodies. They're Viron. Really crazy. You have another tape here. Let's go into our inventory and download this piece of information into our pit boy. Gained a hundred experience. The FEV experiment tape. FEV experiment tape. Log date, March 21st, 2075. Major Bennett has ordered experiments with batch 10-011 of the Panimmunity variant, which has been renamed FEV for forced evolutionary virus. His main concern is with the side effects of the quad helix structure rather than the main effects of the replicative stability. He believes the new structure is the next logical step for mammalian nuclei. Experiments with single-celled organisms is a great success. While their basal metabolism appears unchanged, their immunity to infection and radiation is exceeding all earlier expectations. Addendum. Coronal plasts seem unaffected by the variant. Further experiments on plant cells has been cancelled by the order of Major Bennett. Log date, May 9th, 2075. We inflicted several species of flatworm with FEV. Within hours, the worms have increased in size by 28% and 39 separate viral contagions were resisted by the population. Each sample was allowed to continue for several generations and the new DNA structure was successfully passed to the worm's progeny, although only asexual reproduction was noticed by the samples. Experiments with insects have been less successful. Major Bennett has postponed these experiments until further notice. Log date, June 30th, 2075. Several lab strains of white mice have been infected successfully with FEV. Again, an increase in size was noticed within hours, and after nine days, all mice had stabilized at 31% larger than the control group. Dissection revealed the most increase in size in saturated muscle tissue and certain internal organs, such as liver, heart, and kidneys. In a surprising find, the infected mice were found to run mazes in less than half of the time of the control group. More testing will be needed to confirm this finding as significant. Log date, November 9th, 2075. We have infected 218 rabbits with FEV. Half of the subject were implanted with electrodes to monitor EEG activity before and after the infection. Increased electrical activity in the brain was noted in 3.2 seconds on average after injection. Again, the typical size increase was noted. However, increased aggression and posturing, especially among males, was noted as well. Sacrifice and perfusion yielded brain tissue that showed increased dendritic connections, especially in the limbic system and frontal cortex. Log date, January 12, 2076. With batch 11-011, we've improved the myoptic cycle efficiency by 43%. We have infected 53 raccoons with the new strain. In addition to the now expected size increase, behavioral tests confirm an increase in intelligence and manual dexterity by 19 points on the Schuler Cap Index. Unfortunately, several subjects escaped confinement and had to be hunted down and dispatched. Major Barrett has ordered the remaining subjects terminated. Two pairs were unaccounted for. Log date, May 13th, 2076. We have spliced several new gene sequences supplied by Major Barrett's advisory team into FEV. With batch 11-101A, we infected 23 dogs of both pure and mixed breeds. All experienced nearly immediate growth. The large size was accompanied with increased aggressiveness, while no significant intelligence increase was noted. We plan to attempt a crossover of 92 LL pairs with batch 11-011. All subjects were terminated after 14 weeks of study. Log date, October 4th, 2076. The crossover has been completed and 15 chimpanzees were infected with batch 11-111. Growth and immunity levels are unprecedented. Attempts to induce cancer in the subjects through radiological and chemical agents were not successful. Increased aggressiveness has led to the isolation of the subjects. Two subjects suffered violent epileptic seizures and died. All remaining subjects terminated. 
Log date, January 7th, 2077. Major Barrett has ordered transfer of all FEV research to the Mariposa military base. He plans to continue the project experiments on volunteer subjects. I am against this and would like it noted here that the research on human subjects is not recommended by myself or my staff. Well, that is a whole bunch of information and it does sound like this Mariposa military base is our next big target. I think these guys have increased their experiments and moved on to the human subjects and these are the super mutants that we see. Very interesting indeed. The story is coming to a head here. Very cool. Anyways, let's call that an episode for today. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you soon.